if I could only have one outfit, what would it be? It would probably be jeans and a white t-shirt and a fun pair of heels. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the cardigan is back. <laughs> I was introduced to the brand Cape. Um, a friend of mine said, oh, this is a really cool brand. You should check it out. So I thought that the idea of like a cashmere sweater with a cashmere bra underneath just sounded really cozy and had a little hint of sexiness, but just not trying so hard. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know where I'll ever wear it, but I think I'm gonna give it a try because it, it also to me was like, oh, that would be something that you would wear in a photo shoot because it looks like you could style it right. Um, but it would might be hard in real life, I don't know. I'm not really show a lot of skin type of person. Um, but I was like, well, you know, maybe I'll try it. I mean, I'm happy for the cardigan. <laughs> I like that bag a lot. It's a Philip Lim and it's, the size is quite nice. It fits, you know, everything you need but doesn't have extra room for stuff that will stay there for too long. <laughs> I was like living my daily life and I didn't really knew if it was this way or that way, but I appreciate that that's appreciated. <laughs> Oh, so that's when I was, um, I, I was going to um, the US Open. And that's a double RL. So it's a jean jumpsuit with um, you know, tweed blazer. I liked the combination of denim with the tweed, but it was a little bit more modern because it was a jumpsuit. It was a little bit tomboy mixed with preppy. <laughs> Anytime you put denim in, I'm like, Oh yeah, so I love that outfit too, thank you. So that outfit is Prada and I also, I was wearing that at the fall opening of the American Ballet. It's, you know, a men's suit, but the, um, the feathers make it obviously more feminine. It's fun to wear something that's more theatrical than maybe I usually would to, to celebrate and honor um, the work of the dancers and, and the artistry of of them and the choreography and everything, so. Okay, so that was um, James Vanderbeek and I at the Emmys, I believe it was in 1998. And that was a Badgley Mishka gown. And I was so excited, I still have that purse. We had done one season of Dawson's Creek and we were invited and we, we couldn't believe it. Uh, that was the um, Tribeca Film Festival, the Chanel Dinner, which is such a highlight of the year. It's always at ba the restaurant Baltazar in New York, and it brings together so many artists in New York. There's always a pile of books at every person's seat, and they're usually art books, and you get to take them home. And I always think that's like such an amazing touch. I wore a black leather suit because I felt like Black leather is kind of an homage to New York. And um, then a bright Chanel bag to, you know, since it was a Chanel event. And um, I wanted that pop-up color. I like bags. They make you happy. <laughs> that look is from the Zimmerman dinner a couple of weeks ago, and that's a Zimmerman uh, dress and um, a wardrobe NYC Blazer. I really love Zimmerman. Um, I love Nikki. I think it's, they have done so many incredible pieces in the last couple of years. And it was a fun night and kind of the kickoff of New York Fashion Week, which I feel like is, is always fun in the city because it's the beginning of the school year. It's like the beginning of fall. There's going to be so much, so many like the ballet, the opera's going to start again, the season, the, there's going to be a lot of new Broadway shows, like it's like the beginning, so it was um, beautiful and they had a great dinner at um, the old Whitney Museum, so 